Meanwhile, it's going to be a make or break 4th of July weekend for Chicago bars and restaurants. Mayor Lightfoot says the city will not hesitate to fine or even shut down businesses that don't follow social distancing rules. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is live at City Hall with the latest on this crackdown. Megan. Right, Erica, the city says they went out of their way to educate bar and restaurant owners about how to safely operate during phase four, and they won't be handing out any more warnings. It's a gorgeous start to the long holiday weekend, but Mayor Lori Lightfoot was not in a lighthearted mood. We're not going to hesitate to shut you down, and if you are shut down, you're not coming back anytime soon. I can't be any more clear. Than that. Lightfoot says she does not want to see Chicago go the way of states like Texas and Florida that have had to roll back their openings. We are not going to suffer the fate that we've seen of other states and localities across the country. The Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection has already received 764 complaints related to bars and restaurants reopening. They've conducted 377 investigations, issued 59 warnings, and just nine business citations. I have seen standing room only on rooftops and bars. Now the city says they won't be so lenient, especially with long lines outside. If you refuse to manage the line, then unfortunately we're going to have to manage that for you. Commissioner Rosa Escareno says this holiday weekend will be the test to see if these spots can remain open. It's very important to obey to the law. And then also Culinary expert and restaurant consultant Mario Rizzotti tells me he again. certainly understands the need for the crackdown, but... I, I hope the city's understanding. We understand. The city also has to understand that. It's about time to cash in some taxes, too. So we're happy about this, and we would like to see more money coming in into the pockets of the city and then avoid to close left and right. Now, Commissioner Escareno said they'll also be cracking down on patrons picking up to-go cocktails and then drinking them on the sidewalk. The intention is that they take those cocktails home. Now, bars and restaurants could face fines of up to $10,000, and in particularly bad cases, a total shutdown. Live in the Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.